Hello everybody! So, uh, about a year ago, months ago, I posted a video that was all about how to format and create a cover letter for a submission to magazines and short works. I did it because I noticed that on AuthorTube there's a lot of focus on self-publishing or traditionally publishing novels, but there's not a lot of stuff for how to do cover letters for magazines or short works. So I did a video where I kind of explained verbally how to do everything, but I figured uh, today, you know, I'd do a video where I'd kind of show you guys how to do that, so here we are. We are working in good old Google Docs right here. I'm calling this just a fiction cover letter, super creative. And this is just a template I've made. I have highlighted all the parts that you will have to fill in yourself because uh, this is obviously just a template. So I think I said in my video, basics of what you're gonna need. So it is a lot like a query letter where you start with dear publisher and obviously you're gonna put the publisher's name, whatever they may be. Uh, not to brag, but I recently got a rejection letter from the New Yorker, so then you put please consider this, and then you put the word count, piece of, then you put the type of short work, poetry, short story, flash fiction, whatever, and then you put the title. You can always put the little blurb for it there, or change it around, or whatever. I recently participated in, and then you're gonna put any experience you may have that's relevant, like if you participated in open mic night and you did really well, or if you did some short story contest at your local writers group and did a really good job, or something like that and you're an, if you're an avid reader of the fiction and poetry that this person publishes but only put this if you actually are anyway so then after you write all that stuff about yourself then you are going to put the title of your work and then a brief explanation of it inspired by blah 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 so this is just the example part and then you're going to put at the end if this is a simultaneous submission or not so simultaneous submission just means that you are submitting this at the same to other places at the same time. And you have to notify them if the piece is accepted elsewhere. Because that would be super awkward if your piece gets published in the, the New England Poetry Journal and then the New Yorker also tries to publish it and they both find out about it. So obviously you want to notify them if the piece is accepted elsewhere. Then you want to say thank you for your consideration, kindest regards, and then put your name. So this cover letter is only really applicable if you're just doing submission I found this out the hard way. If you're doing a contest, uh, obviously go with their submission guidelines because the last thing you want is to get disqualified from the contest or get a very passive aggressive or harshly worded uh, response from the contest holders about how you didn't follow their submission guidelines. Now let's go on to the submissions part. So your submissions part is going to look like this. I know in my previous video, I talked about, you know, what it's supposed to look like. I figured this would be easier if I just showed you what it looked like. So here in the corner, we have our name, and then you can put your pronouns, and then you have your telephone number. As you can see, I put 01234567789. Obviously put your actual phone number if you, you know, want them to call you. Then whatever your email is, dot com. Then in the right corner, you're going to put the number of lines in this poem or the number of words in whatever it is you are submitting if it's flash fiction or short story you want to put that in the corner right there then you're gonna put a couple of spaces in between then you're gonna put the title of the work nice and centered then you're going to finally put the actual body of the text as you can see for poetry the words of the poem are gonna be formatted exactly how you want them to be for publication no exceptions so when you're writing something for publication, obviously you're gonna have a particular vision for what you want it to look like. You want it to look exactly how you would want them to publish it when you submit it. Cause I mean, that just would make it easier for everyone else if you submit it the way you want it to look. So if you're submitting a poem, I recommend uh, submitting it as a PDF, especially cause sometimes formatting gets weird with a Microsoft Word. There you go, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video on submission cover letters for short works to magazines and literary journals. Enjoy!